Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is May 25th, Friday for the weekly wrap-up. We had quite a volatile week, Logan. Can you give us a little bit of an overview of what guided the trade all throughout the day? Yeah, yeah, Cody. Well, we did see an overall bearish crop progress report come out on Monday. That kind of set the tone early. And we also had concerns that the Chinese demand was going to be drying up here soon in the near term. That certainly wasn't supportive of grains in general. We saw corn, soybeans, and wheat sell off lower across the week. As you can see here, if we jump into the fire tip platform, we picked up a few cents here today. Old crop corn up a quarter of a penny. Soybeans up seven and a half. Wheat up 12. And Kansas City wheat up nine here. Another thing that wasn't really helping out the grains uh, throughout this week was a dollar index, which uh, continues to strengthen. Yeah, really, it hasn't been helping the grain complex at all uh, since the beginning of May. And yeah. So uh, here we are, May 25th, and we've rallied for the mo better part of the month. Right. Uh, we're sitting at, uh, at levels that, that will, I think, will be affecting uh, the uh, the competitiveness of the euro. So I think I think grain over there is going to be getting more competitive, and and so that's going to potentially hurt our exports. But the bottom line here, uh, this is all uh, this this whole dollar rally is on the back of the concern over in the European Union, the concern that Greece may end up exiting the Euro European Union. They're mm -hmm. trying to do some sort of a contingent plans over there. Greece has uh, voting, their second round of votes on June 17th, I believe, so uh, it's still a ways off. There's a good chance we could see a little bit more legs to this rally. Yeah. And the dollar. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, in the meantime here, this is certainly going to remain a weather market here. We've seen weather be a huge factor in this grain market, not only abroad, you know, we've seen it in Russia and Europe, but also domestically here certainly as well. Kind of looking into next week, right now the market's kind of uh, factored in some beneficial rains coming into southern growing areas here. Thursday and Friday of next week. You know, if we don't get those rains, Cody, we should see this old crop corn contract certainly find some support from that. You know, right now, uh, just in the last week here, we've seen 50 cents come off the premium that July is carrying over December. So that old crop uh, corn premium is really drying up quick here. But, you know, if we don't get these rains, it's certainly going to help that out here. You know, another good thing to keep an eye on as it relates to the strength of the dollar here, like you were talking about before. Yesterday, I heard you on Ag, Ag Web Radio talking about kind of the export sales front and uh, export inspection. What are we kind of expecting there? Yeah, well, I think the big thing to, to take away from what I, what I talked about yesterday is that uh, for soybeans, we've actually kind of, we booked what the USDA is expecting. Right. And uh, so we booked it already, but our, our inspections, the actual grain that's leaving the country, uh, that's about on pace with uh, what the USDA is expecting, right. maybe a little bit lagging. So if we want to see the USDA, or if we're going to see the USDA raise their export sales forecast, we're going to have to see a pickup in inspections along with the increase that we've already seen in export sales. So uh, the bottom line is pay attention to these export inspection numbers. They're usually released on Monday. I believe they'll be released on Tuesday since we have an extended holiday on, uh, well, this next week. Right, absolutely. Well, you know, we will keep you uh, tuned in to the export sales front on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Friday afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV. Have a great long weekend here. We'll see you back Tuesday.